What's up guys, it's the Ohm Ninja Warrior Aviators and a Super Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. And in this video I asked four different martial artists that you've seen from Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok to give us some pointers that can help us out through our martial arts journey. Basically, I let them have free reign. They can give any advice, tips, tricks, pointers, or anything that they felt like talking about. So I hope this video is helpful for you and let's see what we can learn from some other really awesome and experienced martial artists out there. Hello there, my name is Instructor Bense and I've been asked by the Modern Ninja to share some advice for students. Um, and I think that if I had one tidbit of advice to share, um, a, a sort of something that will help you along in your growth as a martial artist, self-defense practitioner, or uh, honestly, just any pursuit that you take up, it's to empty your cup and remind yourself to empty it often. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, think of your brain like a cup. And it only has so much room before it starts to overflow and information just sort of leaves. Well, when I'm doing a technique, maybe I've done it a thousand times, maybe I've done it five thousand, ten thousand, and I start to think that I know all that there is to know. My cup is full, and I have to remind myself to empty it because, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but sometimes you may be doing something that you've done a million times, but you do it for the one million and first, and you find something that you didn't see before. See, overlooking those, those growth moments uh, can be a detriment, and it can lead you to stagnation. It can lead you to just sort of sit at the same spot you've always been at, because you don't have any more room for growth. You've already decided that you know what there is to know. You have already decided that there's no more room to progress. So I remind you, whether it's watching someone else's technique or practicing your own, empty your cup. See what new information you can get. And I promise it will be significantly harder to stagnate. You are absolutely right, Ben. Emptying your cup and emptying your mind is incredibly important. It allows you to really learn new things and be open to, to uh, new habits and new ways of training your martial arts. What's going on, guys? Gina the Filipino here, sharing one of the most important tips that I like to share with our students here. I find that having patience with yourself and asking questions go hand in hand. Whenever you start to learn a new technique, it's gonna feel awkward for maybe the first six to eight reps. It may take you like five minutes just to do those initial reps. But ask your teacher, be patient with the technique, and make sure that you're doing things safely and effectively to avoid any injury or develop any training scars. Really taking the time to polish and refine all those details in the beginning is gonna serve you very effectively in the future. So take your time, be patient with yourself, and always remember that the first time you do something and the hundredth time that you do something, you're gonna feel very different. Train hard. Ooh, this one. This one came after me personally. Patience is a challenge sometimes. Like it's a incredible challenge sometimes. And Gino, I don't think I could have said it better, but patience is absolutely required, just like you said. Bam, 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 bam. Hi all, my name is Nina Carida. I'm a Muay Thai athlete, and today I'm showing you how to do knee strikes better. Number one, stay on the balls of your feet as much as you can. Two, activate your hip. Number three, your knee strikes should look like an arrow. Number four, go back to your fighting stance always. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Who doesn't love a good solid knee? I mean, for self-defense, for, for combat, for sport fighting, all of it, knees are some of the most useful techniques out there. What is up, everybody? Kung Fu Rob here with the Modern Ninja Collaboration. 
And my tip for you guys is something my teacher taught me long ago, and that is accuracy is power. Now accuracy goes a lot further than just hitting the correct target. It's making sure you're doing all of those little things, turning your shoulders, hip rotation, following through. Be sure to listen to your instructor and the details that he gives you because those details can make a big difference in the end. Also, shout out to my boy, Modern Ninja. Thank you for the collaboration, dude. Keep rocking it. Accuracy is huge. Being able to not only hit someone in the face, but hit someone in their nose or their, their in chung or their, their temple, but being able to actually pick the target you want to hit is incredibly important. I basically did a whole video about just accuracy and the importance of accuracy in my uh, Ty Lee video. But I want to use this time to thank Ben, Nina, Rob, and Gino for coming on the channel and dropping some knowledge for us. It was great hearing your perspectives on these topics and hearing your advice and, and tips and tricks of the trade. If you aren't following them, uh, definitely do that. I'll leave their links down in the description below. And of course, if you're not following me, do that. Yeah. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the best martial arts out there, or this one about some of the hardest martial arts in the world. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video.